Let me out! Rolly, don't you Let me out! No, 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 no. 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 Who the f oh, Rolly say she getting up off this mother. Set at any means necessary. Let's talk about it. Shall when I tell you this shit was chaotic, honey, it was chaotic. They need to change the name from Bad vs. Wild to Bad vs. Chaotic. I mean, honestly, they tried to have games, but the games just devolved into ass shaking twerk contest getting on poles to seeky just being crazy just getting up and down rah, rah, rah. get out my man why is she next to my man my man i'm like oh my god what is going on didn't to seeky she got into it with somebody in the audience right that was off camera that's what armand wiggins has said but nonetheless the episode begins in zeus fashion you know just doing the scenic route showing us the lovely scenes of las vegas california oh my god did i say las vegas california i meant to say las vegas nevada I've been um, drinking some vine lately, honey. I'm on my, I'm on my Tasha K shit. Oh, so here is what we got going on on the Rasta. So, hold on, let me just drink this. So, on the team bad side, honey, we got Miss Natalie Nunn as the team captain, of course. And then we got Miss Mariah Lynn, international nothing. Roly, Scotty with the body, Tzatziki baby, and Cisco, honey. Oh, I'm sorry, Jayla, 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 Jayla. By the way, whatever happened to Cisco? You know what I mean? He, is, where did he go? Is he dead? Now on the prostitute team, we got Jocelyn as the team captain, okay? And then we got her hoes. Um, girl, I couldn't name these bitches to save my motherfucking life. I really don't know. They were not lying when they came on the stage and Natalie was saying, you gonna have to introduce your girls, Jocelyn, because we don't know who the fuck them bitches is. And that's so true. Who can I name? Okay, that one is Andrea at the end. That's the voodoo doll girl. I think that girl's name is Precious. That, I don't know. I think that's Danny and that's Egypt. Okay. So I kind of know a few of them, but yeah, I forgot this whole name. Her face got fucked up during this, honey. Well, anyway, so Jocelyn come up into place talking her shit. Who built this shit? Cabaret. Who built this shit? Cabaret. La da de a ho. La da de a ho. I didn't know calling yourself a ho was like self-congratulatory, but I mean, anything goes these days. Then we got Miss Rowley, honey with that tacky, sparkly shit in her hair. I'm sorry, I just think that looks so cheap. I, I really do. It reminds me of when I was a kid and I wanted to like have, make my bed into a stage and my mom bought me these like sparkly like curtains. Yeah, that's the type of shit it reminds me of. A three-year-old toy set. Oh, but I do like the baby hairs you got going on, hunty. Okay, so we got Jocelyn's irrelevant hoes coming in. And then they go into the backstory of what happened between Jocelyn and Natalie Nunn. So apparently what had happened was a couple months ago, while Natalie was at a club, she was talking her big cash money shit, saying that she's the number one show on Zeus. All the bitches want to come and audition for baddies, which is very true. And then she goes, hi, Jocelyn. I love you. Okay. So it was like kind of just like this thing. And that's kind of what started this whole thing, really. It seems kind of petty. But then Jocelyn tweeted, I'm still trending, like who's the baddest? So then they get to the dressing rooms and they talk their shit, each team. It's kind of like the reunion, you know what I mean? Jocelyn talking her shit, saying that Jay Leno is Natalie Nunn's father. And I mean, they both are some chinny chinny chin big bitches, honey. You know, so it's just kind of like, wow. But actually, I'm not gonna lie. The chin jokes are kind of like played out. Nicki Minaj shouted out Natalie with the chin. I mean, you can't really use it as a read because even if my name was Natalie, none of these bitches still couldn't chin check me. And let's be for real, Jocelyn, Natalie does have the number one show on Zeus, okay? You may have quote unquote built this shit, which is not even true. Jocelyn's Cabaret was not the first successful show on Zeus. Will the real black China please stand up? Okay, so if anybody want to come on and say, I built this shit, is Black China Now, Jocelyn, you did have a good run, you know, whatever, but I, you kind of fell off, baby. Baddies took your shit, just flipped it, slapped it, rubbed it down, and it kind of is like she Kim kardashian ya. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jocelyn's Paris Hilton, and then Natalie came and is Kim Kardashian, okay? Okay, so then they do, like, a side-by-side -side comparison of, like, um, 
Natalie and Jocelyn's stats, like their their analytics in terms of what they got going on. So Natalie has 2 million Instagram followers. Jocelyn has 4.7. Okay. Years in the public eye, Natalie has 15. Jocelyn has 12. Mm. Viral moments, Natalie has 10 plus. Jocelyn has 10 plus. Public fights, Natalie has 3 plus. Jocelyn has 3 plus. Arrest, Natalie has zero, okay? And Jocelyn, they put a question mark shit we already we know two for sure okay there was one from like before she became famous and then the other one from when she um just dog walked big lex okay so those at least two okay and then the <laughs> black eyes um natalie one which was at the batty south reunion uh roly gave her that black eye and then powder rican princess has no black eyes so i'm just like ooh, okay so then mr let me well plumber comes out onto the stage honey and he basically gives his spiel about what's up, what's going on. Thank you for coming out. This is going to be the shit. Y'all be going to do this, do that, do, 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 And then the trifling ass baby father, Nick Cannon, comes out. And he just, like, introduces, you know, oh, what's up? He doing the bad shit, da, 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 da. Nick Cannon is so goofy to me. Like, he's just so goofy. Like, I don't know. I don't really have respect for Nick Cannon. I don't have anything really nice to say about him. I think what he's doing in terms of just spreading his seed willy-nilly to 15 different women, you know, not being in those children's lives. I think it's disgusting. And I think it's morally apprehensible, honestly. Like, and I don't think it's a joke. It's really bad. It's really bad. And again, I am just so shocked that Mariah Carey lowered herself to the gutter with you. So next we got Glorilla doing her performance and she does a nasty ass vulgar song, honey, in sexy red Sukiyana fashion. I mean, licking you know female parts you heard a sexy red song this is just a recycled version of that you know i will say there's not really any originality in female hip-hop anymore it's all about pussies getting money from rich african-american men let me get a 40 inch bust down like you know what i mean it's just so superficial i don't know maybe i'm maybe i'm just on my moral soapbox and then another thing too i was thinking about it this this song had so much profanity, and I'm thinking to myself, there's no way this would get played on the radio. You know what I mean? So in order to be more successful, these rap artists, female rap artists, need to stop putting so much profanity in their music so it can be played on the radio. Glorilla is not widely known outside of the urban market. You know what I mean? So maybe if she was to tone down her nasty, raunchy ass, sexy red Sukiyana ass music, maybe she would be charting higher without a feature. But I do like this wig, honey. One thing about me, I love them blonde wigs, bitch. Yes! So then the girls come to the stage. Natalie walks out doing her big one. Oh, crrr. And then the pimps and hoes come out, okay? AKA Jocelyn and the cabaret girls. And, um, you know, they just start their, like, shit, whatever. So then they play this game called Break It Off or Take It Off. So they basically do these challenges, and if you can do it, you're good, but if you can't do it, you gotta take an article of clothing off. But Rolly says some shady shit. She's like, we don't strip, bitch, that's what y'all do. And then she like pulls out two $1 bills and it's like, here, bitch, you two dollar hoe, you two dollar hoe. But first they say to do um, a full split, okay? And there goes Scotty the body doing it. And then obviously like Jocelyn's hoes, they're doing it. I mean, that's what they're paid to do. And then they start doing all this pole work and tricks and acrobatics. And what shook me to my core was Rolly, honey. She did it. She did a full split. I said, oh my God. I have never been able to do a full split in my life, like ever, like ever now i would like to get a bottom that can do a full split that's the type of shit i want i want my bottom to be a gymnast bitch i want to flip him in pretzels bitch i want him to do the splits but this video is not about my fantasies darling so yeah they're just doing more pull tricks there's like no plot they just kind of give up the game like and then they just kind of move on so basically the first challenge they nick cannon said that it was a tie but then Jocelyn walks over to him and is like, nah, it ain't a tie. You the boss. Say it right. Say it right. And then she just does this nasty thing where she bends over, puts her finger all near her, you know, female area showing Nick Cannon like, you know, ooh, you know, ooh, ooh, ooh. And Nick Cannon's like, ooh, you gonna be my next baby mama. I never had, I don't have a Puerto Rican one yet. And I was like, ugh. I give my all 
for Mariah to go back in time and find a better man and not this trash box fool. My All is my favorite Mariah Carey song. Like, oh my God, that is my song. So then they play this song called Keep It A Stack. We just move on because they know I got bands. So they basically, it's like truth or dare, and they have to like put their hand on a stack of cash. And it's like a Bible, you know, in a courthouse. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. So first, Chin Check and the Powder Rican Princess get on and go first, honey. Jocelyn asks, do you own your show? And then Natalie said, yes, I do. And then Jocelyn said, well, then why do you have OnlyFans where you're eating girls and playing with chores and beating it up like a damn pinata? And I was like, who? And Natalie's flabbergasted. And so am I. I I'm trying to figure out, well, damn, like, I I is it true? Was she really like, you know, having fellatio with, you know, women on her OnlyFans? Natalie says, no, she just had an OnlyFans and she made $10 million. She didn't go into specifics about it. But Jocelyn is insisting that she was, you know, that Natalie was playing with herself. You know what I mean? And I mean, I believe it because it's like, what else would you be doing on OnlyFans? You know what I mean? Like, are people just going to like look at pictures of you smiling? Like, no, I think that um, Natalie had OnlyFans. Now, I don't know. People say that she was hooking up with Scotty on there. I don't know. But wait, wait, wait. They did have these shirts that apparently had pictures of Natalie's OnlyFans. So, yeah. But anyway, next it's Natalie's turn to ask Jocelyn a question. So basically, Natalie asked Jocelyn, like, is it true that you basically been hooking up with women, like, off camera and doing what you do? Which I thought was, like, a dumb question because it's like, duh, like, Jocelyn, of course she does. But then Jocelyn punches Natalie in the face, socks her, sock and boppers, okay? And when I tell you all hell broke loose on that stage my oh my i mean you got hoes getting on the ground oh is that that's ballistic oh my god you see ballistic right there he stayed getting involved in female fights <laughs> look at nick cannon <laughs> and then this man right here he's just like <laughs> <laughs> I'm, this man cracked me up. I don't know why. But yeah, so Natalie is over there, you know, talking her shit, whatever. But one of Jocelyn's hoes comes over and Natalie, you know, starts arguing with her on top of the couch. And the next thing you know, Jocelyn's hoe comes around and freaking snatches Natalie's wig. Okay. Natalie is mad, honey. She is so mad. She is like freaking telling the security guard to get the off of her like she's really i've never seen her go off on a security guard that bad like you could tell natalie was really 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 irritated that she couldn't get back that she couldn't get that girl what i heard too was that the security guards were being a little more forceful with the baddies you know what i mean than they were with jocelyn i felt like they were letting jocelyn's girls get her get their licks in but then when the baddie girls would try to get their licks in you would have security on them like white on rice okay so it was just it didn't seem fair okay Oh my God, they got all that money on that floor, child. Ooh. And then you get Rolly running across the stage to get this girl. I think her name's Danny. And basically, Rolly and Danny are like on each other. They will not let each other's hair go. Like it is like, it is a real thing, honey. It is intense. Ooh, Mariah trying to get to somebody. So basically what happens is the girls all leave the stage and Jocelyn and them seem happy, like they're cool. Natalie seems pressed and stressed, okay? Rolly especially. And then Rolly's trying to leave, but security is not letting her. And I'm like, what the hell? She's hitting the glass with like a Lysol can. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Why are they not letting her go? At first I thought she was trying to get to the girls, the Jocelyn girls, but she's not. She's trying to leave the premises. So it's like, damn, are they trying to lock her there? Cause she has like contractual, contractual obligations. Like is, but I feel like that like violates labor laws. Ooh, she going back and forth with the security, honey. She really is. Ooh, and then Jocelyn, they got the shirts of Natalie's OnlyFans, honey. Shady, shady, shady. So then, Rolly pulls a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my God. And then you hear them say, okay, open the door, open the door, let her out. Damn. 
Natalie's like, this car better be here in two minutes, okay? So then Nick Cannon's basically like, all right, well, I guess the episode is over, honey. Let's bring Glorilla back for one more performance. And she sings her song, FNF, honey. Now, I was waiting on them to show like a sneak peek for the next week, but they didn't show one. So I'm like, is there gonna be an episode next week? Or is this gonna be like a special that happens like every few weeks or once a month or something? I don't know, Zeus is weird. But I will say this was very entertaining, very chaotic, and I will be watching the next episode whenever it airs. But I wanna know what you guys think, and this is the video, the YouTube algorithm thinks you should watch next.